Wagwan, wagwan, what's great? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome and thank you very much for stopping by. My name is Chef Adrian Morris and you're watching Morris Time Cooking. As seen in the title, today we're going to be making KFC Zinger Barbecue Sandwich. So if that's something that sounds interesting, stick around. After the intro, we get right into it. We know about sardines, mackerel, chicken neck, chicken back. And we are back and as I said before, we're doing the KFC barbecue zinger sandwich, Jamaican style, see? And for that one person that commented on all my videos saying, Chef, please finish the KFC series, I am here to deliver. You know what I mean? I say, I know it's been over a year and a half, almost two, but I went off and got other things done and I'm here to finish this up. So we're going to be doing the, um, the famous bowl, we're going to be giving it the biscuit, the gravy, the um, hot wings, the barbecue wings, and now the zinger sandwich. You know what I said? The barbecue one. All right, so the first thing I'm going to be showing you before we go to the chicken, I'm going to show you how to get the barbecue sauce done. I'm going to be recapping from an older video because that sauce was perfectly executed and there's no need to make it all over again. So after I show you this barbecue sauce, I will get right into getting the chicken prepared. So follow me. Let's get this barbecue sauce done. First, so for the sauce, I have one small white onion and three tablespoons of brown sugar, simple sauce, quarter cup of white vinegar. We have a cup of tomato ketchup. Get the best ketchup there is because the richer the ketchup, the better the sauce. We have half cup of water. Room temperature water is good. If you have hot water, you can use that too. We have a tablespoon of mustard, some chopped garlic. I'm using three cloves right here. I know what I'm going to be using to get that twist on it to get that nice deep color and flavor. We could use all sugar for this barbecue sauce, but no, we're going for that KFC taste and that KFC look. So we're gonna be using some rich molasses and I'm using three tablespoons of that molasses right here. That is pretty much it for the sauce, but it's the techniques that we're gonna to use to build on those flavors to get us where we want to go. So I'm using here a wide enough saucepan to make sure that I get those onions nice to caramelize and build on my flavors. After which, I'm gonna transfer it to a deeper saucepan so that we can dunk those chicken to coat it all around. You'll see all that good stuff. So let's go heat this up to a medium heat. Gonna hit that with two tablespoons of olive oil, just enough so that these onions can caramelize properly. And when we caramelize this, we're looking for a nice brown color and to extract all that flavor out. So in, on a medium heat, try not to burn these onions. So to help caramelize these onions quicker to extract all those liquids, we're gonna add a little bit of salt to this. And this is also gonna add flavor to the onions and our sauce. So I'm going in with one teaspoon of salt. And as I said, we're just gonna develop this flavor. Allow this to caramelize nicely. Ensure to stir every so often so we don't get anything burned. Nice medium heat shall do the trick. I'm gonna hit that with half teaspoon of some freshly ground black pepper. So the cook time for these onions to get that nice and brown is around five minutes. So now that we achieved that color, we're gonna go into our brown sugar and we're gonna caramelize these um, onions even more and add a nice dark rich color to the sauce. Keep a close eye on this. You do not want to burn this. You, know. you want that onion and the sugar to get nicely caramelized. You know what I'm saying? And you can stir just to ensure it's not burning. And you realize those sugar particles are now getting nice and melted. And they're just coating those onions beautifully. So I'm going to go in with my garlic. Burnt garlic tastes the worst bitter we don't want that so we'll put it in at this stage to extract the sweetness from the garlic as well all right we're coming on beautifully next up we're going to add now our molasses so we're adding all of those sugar base first from the get-go So this is how we need to develop the sauce, like layer by layer, make sure you caramelize the onion, then you add the salt to it, you know what I'm saying? 
You can't just throw everything in a pot and boil it down. You're not gonna get that flavor that you're looking for. So a nice caramel look. That's what we're working with. So we went in with sweet, now it's for time for tangy. Because that's what you're gonna taste. Now the first thing you put in is the last thing you're gonna taste. And the last thing you put in is the first you're gonna taste. So mustard in. Keep this at a nice medium heat so you don't burn nothing. Because if you burn, it's gonna become bitter. Then we're gonna hit that now with our vinegar. Ah, look how beautiful that looks. Look how, hey, don't play with me you now. You see that? Ooh, beautiful. And in goes our tomato ketchup. On a low heat now, because you know once the tomato ketchup go in, everything is gonna start bubbling up. So we need that on a nice little low heat. You ever see a $5,000 Jamaican deal? That's what this sauce looks like. Beautiful. I'm going to blend these up because we don't want the chunks of onion. We need everything to just marry in that sauce. So we're going to blend this real quick. Add that beautiful sauce now into my blender. If you have a food processor at home, you can use that. I'm going to go into a little bit more water in here. Just so I get all of that sauce out from the sides. Cover that up. Just going to blend real quick. So we're going to take our time to open that because you know the liquid is still hot. We don't want it to burst out on you. And there. Look at that. Beautiful. Scrape out the excess. This sauce is beautiful. So you know how we're going to get this sauce to be well flavorful. Cover that. I'm going to put it on a low heat on the stove to cook for about 30 to 45 minutes. And that is going to ensure us to get a nice thick sauce, right? And in between that time, you're going to check every so often, stir to ensure that it's not sticking. The condensation from the pan will just nice and get that sauce to a beautiful consistency. And then we're going to work on the chicken. So that's the beauty. Let the sauce cook to get all of those flavors infused into each other to become one. You see me? Yeah, man, I eat. So without further delay, let's get right into these ingredients. I have your one scotch bonnet pepper, the red one, so you know the heat turn up. You know what I'm saying? In the middle here, I have a tablespoon of salt. It doesn't, it's not a lot, but because it's spread out, it looks a lot, it's not a lot, right? And we have here one teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of that onion powder. We have a teaspoon of, um, Paprika, just for a little color, you know where I come from? Then we have half teaspoon of black pepper and half teaspoon of white pepper. Over here we have a tablespoon of chili powder, because we know so we want the thing spicy and it had, adds color as well. And a teaspoon, an next tablespoon of cayenne pepper. You see the pepper them I repeat? Because we need that. And over here we have a tablespoon of brown sugar for just balance out the heat and everything nice you know what i say so this is for a spicy marinade and if you've seen if you've seen my previous video you know that we use the jamaican green seasoning i have a video out on that so check it out right here we add that to this mixture but i don't have none right now what it really does is to give it that fresh note of herbs you know what i say don't have any now it's not a big deal and we use a tablespoon to two so i don't have the green seasoning but if you have that at home feel free to put it in at this time all right so real quick we're going to be doing the blending right now so here i have one cup of ice water the ice water helps this marinade to be thick you know what i say so we're going to go into our blender with a cup of water we're going to go in with all our spices yeah Ooh, that's a kick and we're going to give that a quick blend Let's go. Let's go. 
so now we have that blended we have right here already washed with a little bit of vinegar and lime i use about a cork full of vinegar with one lime and i squeeze that in some water wash it off properly to remove any excess rawness or debris rinse that off with fresh water and then pat dry them right so these are debone and skinless chicken thighs and you have six right here this recipe you can use up to about 12 or two pounds of chicken thighs so we're gonna pour that marinade now right over chicken nice whoa nice and now we're just gonna stir that around 15 to 18 hours minimum in the fridge to just get that marinate all of that spices infused into the chicken thighs right are two days for best results i have here some chicken thighs that i already got prepped up for the purpose of this video so i'm just gonna pop this in the fridge and still we have more chicken sandwich we make a couple days after this so boom now this is it this is it and you realize the liquid the liquid in here is runny a little bit but when it sits it gets thicker so i'm gonna show you real quick because the chicken thighs absorb all of that liquid look at that so cover this up i'm gonna pop this in our fridge mm -hmm. so i have here three cups of all-purpose flour and this is going to be used for the breading right and then over here i have again half tablespoon of salt we have half teaspoon of white pepper half teaspoon black pepper then over here we have a teaspoon of brown sugar we have a teaspoon of onion powder a teaspoon of garlic powder and then we have half teaspoon of some mustard you know me i said ground mustard and then over here we have a teaspoon of oregano and a teaspoon of dried thyme i'm just going to mix all of that up remove any lumps from that brown sugar it smells so good drop that right into the flour mix that in all right that's good we also have here a bowl of water with a dip basket all right and over here we have a clean container to put the breaded chicken in at this time your oil should be heating up to around 340 350 degrees fahrenheit my oil is almost ready so i'm going to start the breading process i'm going to grab these chicken thighs i'm just going to be using three for this video you know what yeah three so into the flour so you're just going to drain the excess marinade off into the flour look at that holy you know the kfc we are ready scoop and fold seven times press ten times scoop and fold seven times again so scoop it one two three four five six seven right spread them out we're gonna press that down 10 times and this is how we're gonna get that breading fully covered on here you know what i say press that down then we'll scoop and fold again seven times yes so what we're gonna do at this time you can use a basket kfc normally uses a basket to get the excess flour off but we're just gonna use our natural basket which are my hands and we're gonna leave some space in between the fingers you know so we're going to do a seesaw motion back and forth to get the excess flour off as well as to create small pockets of light flakes because remember this doesn't have any skin but we want it to be nice and crispy so back and forth boom 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 see and look on that now see your chicken still look red yeah so we have some nice light flakes going on and then we're going to dip that now into our water and this water is just room temperature water so we dip that in gently because we don't want to wash off all that nice marinade and the flour fully submerged bring that up gently the purpose of this basket is so i don't get my hands wet wet hands in the flour will cause the flour to lump and then you won't have nice light flakes you'll have like those hard crusts on your chicken we don't want that so gently get off the excess water drain that off just give it a little shake yeah just like so all right back now spread these out back into the breading and at this point we don't call this flour anymore because it's seasoned once it's seasoned it's now classified as breading so back into the breading now i'm going to repeat that process again scoop and fold seven to ten so 
some nice fluffy thing I put them down in that container right there like so and if you have any beer spots just shake a little flour on there tap that off and we're good to go all right so we're gonna get this fried up oil is heated up to 350 and you realize my basket was down in the oil and that's on purpose because we want the oil to be greased so that the chicken pieces won't stick so it's gonna go right in now lay those out nicely we're gonna drop those so we're gonna fry these for five to seven minutes until nice and golden There we go, there we go, there we go. Looking spicy, looking good. Yeah. Well crispy, yes, yes. Allow the excess oil to drain off. Okay, so I'm gonna grab for my barbecue sauce, which is on the stove, staying hot. You want the sauce to be nice, warm or hot. That way it's a little bit runny because if it's too thick then it's going to coat that chicken too much and when you bite it it's just going to get sloppy. We don't want that. We want that sauce to just marry perfectly to our chicken patties. So let's go. Right. Do this in your oven. Preheat the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and we can just drop it on a rack and put them in the oven for about 5 minutes to get that barbecue sauce nicely married on there. However, I'm going to be using my air fryer, which is a quicker method. And all these tools and equipment that I use, I ensure that I always say in the videos that they're in the description box below. Check out my Amazon storefront from the fryer. And this is not just me trying to let you go and buy something that I know I don't use personally. This fryer, I've had this fryer before I even started YouTube. Not this specific one, one that I had before. I was washing it because it got greasy and the thing broke to do the filtering. So I had to buy a new one, but I went and I bought the same one. This one can be found in the description. Give you the best fry and you just filter that oil perfectly. And just know when you go onto my Amazon storefront to purchase anything, I get a commission and that's a way how you can support the kitchen. You feel my fault from? Just gonna dip that in the hot sauce, twirl that around, flip it over. We don't need no excess, nothing, you know. Boom. Drain the excess. As I said, when it's hot, it's thin and it's better. Beautiful. Yeah. Add that in. Try them where I work with you know. Jamir is almost out of school. So you know say so my come home can get a nice zinger. Over this. Shake off the excess sauce. Alright, pop that in the air fryer for five minutes. So we have a hot pan right here. We're gonna add some oil, not too much. And then we're gonna toast our buns. I'm using some brioche buns right here. If you wanna learn how to make your own homemade buns, I have a video out, so check it out right there. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna get these nice and toasty. All right, we got our buns toasted. In with that barbecue. Gonna go on there with the cheese. Nice and hot, so we get that melted. A few slices of tomato. If you have a big tomato, that's even better. We have a leaf of lettuce right here. Boom. So we're gonna go in some mayo on that toasted bun. Generous with the mayo now. Generous. On there. And there you have it, how to make your very own Jamaican KFC style barbecue zinger sandwich. So if you did enjoy this video, if I did give you some value, some tips and pointers, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you love the vibe, hit subscribe. There's many more where this came from and many more to come, you know what I say? So subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. What are your thoughts? I go dig in on one of this. You see me, Jamir is on his way from school. Right. So until next time, Safe travel on the gravel and go on big up on yourself.
it's a little bit cold because I was taking picture all along but mm -hmm. Righteous. You're only so bossy. You're a favorite of this, sir. Hmm? Your brother would be a nice one looking at us. Hmm. What's this? Is that for mommy? Uh, mm. Are you hearty? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I do want it. Yeah. Alright, that is it. That is it. Jamia enjoy sandwich. So, big up. <laughs>